were able to pass one calling for more support for supervised injection sites and for harm reduction to be something that is adopted across the country. And normally I bring both of those kind of resolutions forward, one on marijuana and one sort of on harm reduction and supervised injection, that kind of stuff. To me, those are kind of the two angles to sort of approach this issue on. But, uh, but at this convention, now we've passed resolutions all across the country. We've, I understand the convention process way better. I've got a number of MPs, sort of like Libby Davies and Bill Six, who have said they will speak to a resolution to, to strengthen the party's drug policy and make it better. Uh, so I think that um, we're going to get something through where we're going to have a good shot. But we need to get involved in the political parties. And it's not very hard. That $5 or $10 a year buys you a voice that is very powerful within a very small group of people. And they make the can they decide the candidates and the policies the rest of us choose from. If there's no one up there who supports our cause, it doesn't matter how you vote, because you've got three crappy choices. And if we can work within those parties, we can have three candidates who all support marijuana legalization. Then we can decide from which of them we like better on other issues, which is the way it should be. And so I encourage people to get involved. Join the NDP. You can do it very easily. If you go to nprohibition.ca and sign up to our group, we can help you join. But ndp.ca slash join, you can join online. And, and anybody can be a delegate, anybody can be involved. And you'll be surprised at the success and the receptivity that you get to these kind of ideas. I was in Ontario for their NDP convention provincially. And at the same time, it was the Manitoba NDP convention. And I couldn't be a both. But one fellow who's on the Cannabis Culture Forums, he's joined NDP, he got a resolution passed in his writing association, he went to, the, went to the convention by himself, doesn't have a big group of people, he got a resolution passed calling for the party to support making medical marijuana provincial jurisdiction, that the province would grow their own medical marijuana supply. He got to have a, a scheduled a half hour meeting with the provincial justice minister and health minister, he got to talk, have a conversation with his MLA. He has access to people of power because he's within the party, he was able to do these kind of things and, and reaches people in a way that you can't as an outsider. And so it doesn't take a lot, but we can be the catalyst to help focus this change and make things happen. If I wasn't doing this stuff, it wouldn't happen, but I don't do it all myself. I can't make everyone vote the way they vote. They're voting from their hearts. All I can do is help bring the issue forward and talk about it and make it something that's there. And I think even in the Conservative Party, a lot of Conservatives are recognizing that prohibition is a failed ideology, and a lot of them are libertarians who are frustrated by the direction their party has been going in. And so I think that there's a chance within every party, and the Liberals too. And the Greens have adopted really positive marijuana policies. And the Greens have elected someone here in this city, in Pretoria. Philip Lucas is elected as a Green Party city councilor. That is a stunning victory for our movement, to have somebody who is a dedicated marijuana activist and who runs a Compassion Club to be on government now in the city. That's a huge benefit. And we need to get people at all levels of government. And it shows that it can be done. And so my message, if there is one today, is to join a political party and get involved from the inside, because that's where we can really make a real significant change. Thank you. Dana, and just uh, a couple of uh, little notes to, to, to conclude there. When you said about the Conservatives, you're, you're quite right. In fact, Dr. Keith Martin was a member of the Conservatives when he right. first uh, started to speak out about decriminalization. Now he's a member of the Liberals, and he joined Denise Savoie from the NDP to speak out against Bill C-26, which was the last round of new laws that the government threw. There's a new set of laws in Canada, Bill C-15, basically C-26 resurrected, that uh, has spurred on a whole new battle. So Dana talked uh, very proactively about politics. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of politics is, is fighting the powers that be. And so I just like to ask people to look into C-15 and uh, uh, throw some letters at the standing committee The on Liberals justice. have to oppose uh, that bill. The NDP has said they're going to oppose it. There was one article that said we weren't. That was an incorrect article. Libby Davies, that has been quite clear. We do oppose that, that bill with mandatory minimums federally, which is very happy for me to see my party doing that. The Liberals haven't for sure said what they're going to do, but we need to stop that bill from passing. That bill passes. Ted Smith, they could come and bust him tomorrow if that bill passed and put him in jail for six months for running a medical cannabis dispensary. They could shut down a lot of things if they chose to do so if this bill passes. All the dispensaries and medical clubs would be at great risk, among other things, but that's something that would really be affected if this bill passed. So yeah, so getting to actually the other two opposition parties, because uh, in, in Quebec, uh, is it party Quebecois? Yeah, the Bloc, yeah, uh, Bloc, Bloc Quebecois. Yeah. Um, they're on the fence as well, not all of their uh, members uh, are on our side of the agenda. So those two parties in particular, uh, each individual member of parliament needs to be asked their opinion and persuaded uh, 
uh, to reason if possible. But thank you so much, very much again. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, it was a great pleasure having you here, and best of luck with your dispensary. Thank you. Uh, thank you.